Hi Gemini, welcome to your Je June 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Gemini, I hope you are all safe, healthy, and well during these times. I'm sending all my love and light and prayers to you for whoever needs it at this time. Gemini, I do want to say that I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did post a recent picture of my silver plaque button that I received from YouTube for hit hitting 100,000 sus subscribers. Gemini, I wouldn't have had that without you guys. You guys are the reason why I do these readings. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for all your love and support, your positive engagement with the channel. I read all your comments. I read your DMs. I read all your emails. If I haven't replied yet, please give me some time. I try to reply as soon as I can. But if it's been a while, feel free to just resend it so it goes on the top of my feed. But at the end of the day, it's all because of you guys, the subscribers, the viewers. Thank you so, so much for all your love and support. If you're new here, welcome. I really hope that you gain the insight and clarity that you're seeking for your love life by watching this video. And if you've been subs subscribing with me for a while, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you gain that same clarity and insight. Also, Gemini, I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my um, handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand-select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand-make all my zodiac candles that I sell in my online shop where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents that I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to visit my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com, where you can find the link to the shop in the description box of this video. All right, Gemini, let's get started. Okay, it's so weird, um, getting into your energy, calling upon my spirit guides, um, I heard I'm stopping by, like, I'm stopping by. I don't know if someone you're expecting to come over, coming to visit you, getting ready to go see them, you're gonna go over there, but I feel like someone really wants to see you, someone really wants to be with you, more importantly, like, not so much at a distance, not so far away from each other, I don't know if you guys are long distance from each other, whether that's, like, 30 minutes, 40 minute drive, or you guys are in different states, different countries, I'm not sure, but someone really, really wants to see you or be with you. Maybe you want to be with them, I don't know. I just heard, I'm stopping by. I don't know if you're going to reach a message or they're going to call you, letting them know they're dropping by, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get into the reading. So, this is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Stellium, and or any other placement you see fit for the sign of Gemini. This is not going to resonate with every Gemini that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my intuition and my guides prioritize the messages I provide during this reading. If this reading isn't for you, Gemini, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your Sun sign does. Also, Gemini, it's important to know that not every message in this reading will be for you, and that's completely fine and actually expected since this is a general love reading. Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Gemini. Who would it be? I do have to say, Gemini and Cross Watchers, that you, it's important to remember that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where you feel like the roles are flipped in reverse. In general, I'm going to read Gemini's perspective on this side and Cross Watcher or any energy I'm picking up on on that side. But if you feel like you resonate vice versa or whatever, please feel free to use your own discretion to flip those roles. Also, Gemini, it's important to know that you don't have to be in a relationship in order for this reading to resonate with you. What I'm doing is I'm calling forth uh, energy around you in your energetic field 
who has romantic feelings or romantic intentions for you to come through and to be known in this reading. So you don't have to be in a relationship for that to happen. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. So if at all during this reading, Gemini, I say the words masculine or feminine, please do not referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. Wow, guys, like, <laughs> you both don't know how the other feels. Gemini, you are really, really wanting this person to reach out and come forward and to and to do what's right because you feel so strongly for them and you know that this isn't something that's supposed to be fleeting, that is supposed to be, you know, on and off. You feel such a strong connection for them and you know that they feel the same way about you. I mean, here's a past life relationship coming up here. I don't know if you, this is someone from your past that could definitely indicate this, that's energy making their way through. But I feel as if you both are yearning to see each other. You both are yearning to want to be to, with each other. And you both feel kind of stuck or stagnant with the connection or with the energy. Um, I feel as if, I don't know, like I almost feel like for some of you out there, not all of you, maybe someone thought it would just be better to be just friends or to kind of like end things on a very friendly type of level, but they weren't able to get over you, Gemini. They weren't able to leave it just as friends, and I don't think you guys are either. Because there's this yearning, there's this desire, there's this want, but you guys both feel stuck. You don't know how to move forward, you don't know how to reconnect or to think about this, but they, damn Gemini, they think about you. They have feelings for you. And Gemini, I feel as if you don't know what to do with the situation. You feel very stuck, mentally. I almost feel like some of you tried to move on with another person, but you couldn't. And Gemini, they weren't able to move on from you. There's a lot that's not being seen right now with the High Priestess energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be connected to a Pisces or Cancer. This I feel Cancerian energy with this card. There's a lot that's not being shown to you. There's a lot that's not being revealed, but yet there's something that you feel with this connection. Someone could be psychic out of the two of you or very, very intuitive, very, very empathic, a medium. And I'm also hearing clairvoyant for someone out there. Like you see visions of this person. They see visions of you. You guys both are missing each other badly. And I don't know if something happened due to COVID-19, due, due to the pandemic where you guys stopped connecting as much or seeing each other as much or even being in long distance from each other. Maybe you had plans and they just canceled, they fell through. Both of you haven't been able to really move on from each other. Because Gemini, I see how you feel as the Eight of Swords and they feel the Two of Pentacles. You both are mirroring this. I feel like, I, I, weirdly enough with this honeymoon card, I'm feeling like this is like a reconciliation or a coming together that both of you want, but both is afraid to make the first move, I feel. Someone wants to come see you, Gemini. Someone wants to hold you. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but like have you back in their arms or you being in your arms, Gemini? I don't know if you guys met at night time. I'm kind of feeling some event at night where you guys met. Maybe you met traveling, whether they were or you were. Or maybe at a concert I'm picking up too, or like a music festival for someone out there. But someone's making their way back to you, Gemini. They are planning it. They want to because they miss you and they want you back in their lives. But it's not being revealed as where you see it right now. It's all high priestess energy, right? You're only going with how you're feeling, how your intuition feels about the connection. And even some of you are receiving, you know, messages from spirit, certain confirmations. Specifically, I don't know why I'm seeing 222. 
um, 222 and 111 or 1212 for some of you out there. You know, either of those dates could be when someone was born, like um, January 11th, February 22nd, December 12th. Not for everyone, right? But everything's going to be revealed very soon to you, Gemini. And you've been waiting for this. I do feel that way. I feel like as if you... You've really wanted to move on. You really wanted to stop thinking about this person because you felt that maybe they were over it, they were moving on to better, but you, you couldn't. It's just these things that you hear, that you see, that keep on reminding you of this person. Let's see why the High Priestess is here. I always like to cl clarify the High Priestess. But there's just like a mysterious attraction. Kind of similar to Sagittarius's reading in a way. I don't know if you guys have Sagittarius in your chart or if you're connected to a Sagittarius, but you are. If you are, I recommend watching that video. Four of Wands in reverse. So yeah, I don't feel like you guys are together right now. I do feel like you guys are apart. But I also feel as if Gemini, if this person, you know, if this is someone from your past and they're with someone else, I feel a breakup coming up. I feel a breakup coming up or a breakup that you're just not aware of. And I feel a lot of the breakup had to do with you, to be honest. Six of Wands, Leo energy, Four of Wands, Aries energy. You could be connected to one of those signs or have those signs in your chart. But Gemini, I feel as if someone sees themselves being a lot happier with you than anyone else. They see victory with you. They feel accomplished when they were with you. They feel, I don't know why I'm hearing liberated. Maybe you felt free with them, like free to be who you are, free to be yourself. And when they were with someone else, they didn't feel that way. Let's get another card. Why is the High Priestess here? For the background energy for Gemini. Ooh. Page of Swords. Yeah, Gemini, they're still keeping tabs on you. They're still looking at your social media. If you don't have social media, they're still asking around. And if it's not so much the case that they're definitely watching you or keeping tabs, they're planning, they're strategizing because they want to move forward, they want to make a move. Knight of Cups energy, Pisces energy. Strong Pisces energy on this deck. Um, also Aries energy, Libra energy, and Aquarius energy. You could be connected to the signs, doesn't have to be the case. But they're planning on reaching out to you and starting something new because they're choosing to follow their heart. They've been ignoring it for too long. And Gemini, you have their heart. I really feel that very, very strongly. And it's due, I feel like there's an unsolved contract or unfinished business due to this past life relationship. You've known each other before. I feel like you guys have had multiple past lives with each other where things haven't worked out in the way it was supposed to. And this may be the lifetime to resolve that, especially with Six of Cups. They feel like they're just, I don't know, Gemini. I'm getting for some, they're unhappy without you. Others, I'm getting that they just feel like they're not, they're not as happy unless you're in their lives. A lot of missing, a lot of strategizing to get you back. Let's go ahead and get into it. How you feel about them, Gemini, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy? Some of you could have like double Gemini in your chart, whether you are like a Gemini rising, a Gemini moon and a Gemini sun, or you know, whatever placement there is, that's double Gemini. Yeah, I mean, the cards are saying it, and, you know, if whether you resonate with that side more, this side more, this is not your reading, a lot of you are stuck. You haven't been able to move on from this person, and they weren't able to move on from you. You weren't able to move on from each other. You specifically think about this person all the time. You know, everything that you see reminds you of them, or that you hear reminds you of them. Um, you, you just feel... Again, with the High Priestess energy, you feel a strong, strong, energetic, psychic, telepathic connection between the two of you. And because of that feeling, it's something that your mind can't ignore. You almost feel like you're just entrapped in this connection or stuck in this connection. And I do feel as if some of you did try to move on, 
but you weren't able to. Like other people didn't make you as happy. Um, you always still thought about them at the end of the day. And like, I don't know who this is for. It's not for everyone. It's for a small amount of people, but I even feel like Gemini, if you try to move on for, with someone else, they kind of knew you still always still have feelings from the person, whoever this is. I, I don't know who that's for. But they know you were still always still thinking about them. Oh, let's go ahead and clarify the state of swords energy here. Why is the Eight of Swords the energy for Gemini? Ooh. Six of Cups, need I say more? You reminisce about the past. You rem reminisce the good times you guys had with each other. I'm seeing like, yeah, the white flowers I'm really drawn to right now. I don't know if like white roses resonates with you. Um, white lilies. I don't know, but you're realizing that there was something more that should have came about this that hasn't come about yet, and that's the only thing that you know is true out of anything is that there's still some unresolved business, there's still something there that you both want and that you know and you need clarity from. Maybe there is something that they left unsaid that you know that they need to tell you if they want any bit of closure with you, in a way. I feel like there's just no closure here, but beyond that, there's no closure because you both want to be with each other. You both want to still have this manifest. And for some of my Geminis, you haven't been able to move on because you know that they're the ones for you in some way. Ace of Swords, and that's the truth of it. And some of you have been trying to think otherwise or get your mind off it, but you can't. How they feel about you, ten of pen two of Pentacles energy, Capricorn energy. Some of you could be connected to a Capricorn. Yeah, it's as if... They're running between two options in their head of what they can do, right? I can reach out to Gemini, or maybe I won't reach out to Gemini. I don't know what to do. That's kind of what I'm feeling with this Two of Pentacles, is that they don't know what to do with this, Gemini. I feel like usually this person has all the right answers. They know how to proceed and move forward and do it very confidently. But with you, it's a different story. With you, it's like... They don't know what the right answer is. All they know is that they feel for you, but they don't know if they should pursue you. And they don't know what to do. They just don't know what to do about it. Because they feel like you may be blocked from them, that your energy is blocked. I don't know if you literally did block them before for some of you out there. Or you told them like you didn't want to talk to them or something for someone, not all, but they feel as if you wouldn't care to hear them out, you wouldn't care to see them, but they, they want to come see you. And maybe that's the thing with the Two of Pentacles too, that what they're trying to plan, what they're trying to strategize, how to move it forward, how to approach you. I don't know if I'm feeling, I'm hearing like public breakup. I don't know if you guys broke up somewhere in public and like because the, and if it wasn't the case then somehow something ended really in a mess in a really bad way but they want to make up for that I really feel like they want to make amends with you Gemini but they just don't know how whether it, for you guys it could just be as easy as a simple text or like an apology or for them to come see you and to tell you how you feel but they just feel like that wouldn't be enough for some reason I'm hearing back freckles or don't know what that's about maybe there's like a birthmark on your back or something like that I want to pull the
clarify this Two of Pentacles card. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for how they feel about Gemini? Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning. They're very passionate about you. Fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. They want to make something new of this. They want to transform this from where it is now to where they really want it to be and they feel that it should be. They don't feel like it's right without you. They don't feel, I don't know, Gemini. They, they're waiting for some sort of confirmation from God, from the universe, waiting for the right time to reach out to you or to make amends with you. But the thing is, don't wait too long to where time passes you by and it's too late. If you want it, go for it. But they're just very apprehensive about it. I wanna get one more card. Maybe someone has had like a lizard or a gecko as a pet <laughs> or some sort of reptilian. I don't know. Obviously, that's not for everyone. Or maybe like a tattoo of a snake or a lizard. I don't know. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but let's see. The moon. Pisces. Strong Pisces energy is coming through. Um, yeah, a lot of fear is preventing them, Gemini. They want to listen to their gut. They want to listen to their instinct, but they're afraid it's going to be wrong. They're afraid it's going to be wrong and that it's going to lead them the wrong way. They just don't trust their intuition. They don't trust their gut. They're more practical. They're more logical. They have to see logical evidence that this is going to work. They can't just rely on their feelings, but I feel like Spirit's really trying to get them to say, hey, you better make a move. You better listen to your instinct or Gemini is going to move on. What you think about this connection or them, Gemini? The Fool card. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. You could have that in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs. A couple things I'm getting for different groups of you. For some of you, I feel as if you this is you where you think, you know, despite your longing, despite your yearning or you're missing them, you, you really are trying to get in the process of starting something new, of moving on, moving forward to something that better serves you. But most of you, I gotta be honest and feel like some of you are wanting this new beginning or wanting this new chapter, but you want them to make the initiative. You want them to make the effort. And others of you, I feel as if you kind of see this pool person as being a bit foolish. I feel as if you guys think that whatever they did or didn't do was the reason why you guys fell apart. And that they didn't take this seriously when they had the chance. They were a bit aloof about it. They were a bit disconnected about it. Also, someone could have moved away from you guys. And that's why you're at a long distance now. Some of you guys definitely like like to go on walks to clear your mind or like go on a hike to clear your mind or go somewhere outside, exercise, running, jogging maybe for some of you, not all. Some of you it's because you want to clear your mind from this energy or from this person. So yeah, some of you do really are trying to just move it on, start anew, or at least that's what you want mentally for yourself despite your feelings. Others of you, you're waiting for this person to approach you with this new proposal of a beginning. And others of you, you think this person, you know, was just didn't take it seriously when they had the chance, period. What they think about this connection, Seven of Wands, Leo energy. That damn gecko and lizard right there, right? <laughs> I don't know, it's for someone out there. And someone could be wearing orange right now, or orange is someone's favorite color. So, for those of you who I was mentioning earlier about how some of you, if it wasn't a messy ending like I saw for a few, it was like, hey, let's just remain friends, let's be friendly. This is where I'm seeing that they want to break down that barrier, they want to get out of the friend zone, they want to re-spark something. They can't leave it platonic. It's just impossible for them, to be honest. They want to reconnect, but in a passionate way. They desire you, Gemini. But others of you, they think you will just be guarded that you don't want to give this another intimate 
chance, right? That maybe again, like they feel blocked in some way from you, whether you did block their number, block them on social media, or that every time they have tried to reach out to you, you didn't provide that same energy that you guys once had before. Others of you, they're trying to block you out. You know, they're, they're just trying to, they almost feel like it may be easier to just move on from Gemini. So they're trying every way to, when they think of you, just to try to think of something else, just to try to focus on like, I don't know, watching a movie, reading a book, doing something to get their mind off you. But it's not working. It's not working very well at all. What you want from this Gemini? Justice. The card of Libra. Some of you could have Libra somewhere in your chart. You want what's right. And I feel as if if some of you are waiting for an apology, you want this apology before anything can start anew again. Others of you, you feel as if, yeah, there's some sort of connection here that is meant to be right. I, I do feel as if you both want each other. You both are yearning for each other. You want to make things right again between each other. But you're not going to do it should you be the only one to reach out and for it to fall through. And I really do feel like, Gemini, you feel like they're the ones that should be stepping up. They're the ones that should be apologizing or they should be the ones to try to make amends because I feel like in the past, you know, you were maybe the ones overdoing it or that's what you felt. You weren't felt like things were right. You were, things were fair. And now it's their turn to show up. And you want the truth. You want the truth. Because again, I feel like there was no closure between the two of you or any closure that was anything satisfactory for you. What they want from this Six of Cups, a reunion, a reconciliation. Scorpio energy, you could be connected to a Scorpio or someone with Scorpio in their chart, but they do love you. They still have feelings for you. I almost feel like this person could draw, they could paint. Maybe they've drawn you before, whether you know that or not. Um, or there's like a picture of you two together that they still have saved on their phone or that they have saved as a picture somewhere printed in their house. They may still have an article of clothing of yours or maybe you have one of theirs. But they want a reconciliation. They want to see you. They want, I don't know why I keep on getting that. I feel as if a lot of you are just very naturally beautiful, very naturally handsome. There's not a lot you have to do to dress yourself up or put makeup on. They just find you very like a classical beauty or a classical handsomeness that they've never, they've been like, they always see your face. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but that's really the energy I'm getting. For the likely outcome of the situation, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to pull some cards for the likely outcome of the situation and some oracle cards for advice. Um, if you'd like to join me there, go ahead and check out the description box where you'll find the link to Vimeo. But before we go, Gemini, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck. And I will ask Spirit how they feel about you, what they think about you, and anything that could further clarify or deny. So let's see. Anything, Spirit, ooh, that can further help us? Children, your love life is being affected by children with religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Some of you may have known this person since, like, childhood, and if it wasn't exactly childhood, maybe from, like, high school, college, when you guys were very, very young, I'm getting, and it's always, like, the chemistry has been there since. Others of you... This could be the baby mama, baby daddy of your children. And that's why, you know, there's that tie there between the two of you. But I feel it's beyond that. Others of you, someone's a, like feeling a bit vulnerable. You both feel vulnerable with each other. And you've been struggling with that vulnerability because you don't know if they feel the same. But, you know, with religious factors, people are definitely waking up to what this is. I don't know if you guys come from different cultures, different backgrounds, different religions. Capricorn just had this card too. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or you have Capricorn in your chart. If you do, I recommend watching that video. But 
I think there's becoming a realization that in order for this to work, there has to be a vulnerability. There has to be an honesty. There has to be the truth. Or, you know, this can just reflect that this has been going on or it feels like it's been going on for so long. And still, you miss each other and want each other. We're going to go ahead and see what the likely outcome in this situation is, Gemini. If you'd like to join me there again for the extended reading, go ahead and check out the description box where you'll find the link to Vimeo. If this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope you resonated with this reading. I hope that you gained some insight and clarity in regards to your love life. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.